All right, today I'm going to show you what's happening on the patio. Uh, we got some things blooming, filling out, and I'll start over here under my Japanese maple tree. I have a little uh, pasta garden here, and they're doing well, and I got a new one back there coming up. And I uh, really like how this turned out. And these are two bowls we planted up with succulents. They're looking very well. And one over here, you see, but this one has more shade, so they're kind of bolting out a little bit. Over here are the um, agaves. Got some pups down there. And these is the hardy ice plant that's spilling out of this old pot that we didn't throw away. And as you can see, I have a, a sedum coming out the side there that I probably need to put somewhere else. And then we got uh, some more hens and chicks here. Got some babies coming out. I may have to pull them off and plant them somewhere else. But look, isn't that pretty? And in these blue pots, we planted the Proven Winners Million Bells. And they're filling out nice. And here are some more Million Bells. I look, really love the coral color. The Proven Winners has some really pretty colors for the million bells. Look at this one. It has some dark colors on it. I think that's really pretty. And this one had some seeds from last year from the Proven Winners. And I pulled that out and put it up here in this pot. It's, it's recovering. They're looking good. And over here I have the Mandevilla vine. It's climbing nicely. It looks like it's got some new blooms that are getting ready to pop. But this is what the um, blossom looks like. If you can see, isn't that pretty? And some more hens and chicks. And a little sedum that I need to take and plant somewhere else. In this thing, I have some um, lilies, uh, oriental. One of them is kind of crazy looking. I, <laughs> I took too long to start planting them. I also have some nasturums in here. I might take them out. I heard they attract aphids, so I didn't realize that. And as I showed you before, over here is the um, Clementus vines. This one, they're like a dark purple. You see this one has some new buds on it. This one here, this big one, it's two different types in here, but they're about done. I have to come and I might cut off the blossoms or let it go see if I can let it go to seed see what happens and this is another one that's a dark purple and um, these are some daylilies that I decided to plant them in the pot so I want to see what colors what the colors look like before I plant them in my cutting garden and if you haven't seen my cutting garden uh, click on the link below and uh, I think you will enjoy what I have going on over there in the cutting garden. You can see, you can see these daylilies already have two, see two buds coming up. And as I showed you before, if you follow me, and if you're new here, welcome. It's, uh, I'm Cheryl, and this is a roundhouse with Cheryl. And um, I do all things around the house to help, to show you and help you make things beautiful inside and out. 
And so this is, uh, I've got a series, mostly what I've been doing is sharing my garden here. And this is what we do here every year on our patio. All these hostas I've had for years and years, and they all come back. And uh, we leave the pots outside. Um, they don't crack. Once in a while, we'll have an issue. But for the most part, they come back. And then over here are some little seedlings we got. Uh, Japanese maple seedlings and looks like some hens and chicks. And that's just a little garden oh, garden ornament, my little my little guy. What is he? A gargoyle? <laughs> Let's see. There he is. Okay. Now Let's see. Now this is a plant that I got. I got two. This one's doing pretty good. I started a bloom. It has a little little light blue florets that come on these little stems. And it's doing quite well. It's, it's tall. We had to stake it. And I have another one here not doing as well as the other one so I'm not sure why but I got these from Gilbert H. Wild and Sons I really love their plants they're super healthy um, I'm not sure what's going on with this other one though and we keep having like spider webs around I don't know if it's spiders or if it's spider mites this uh, here in this pot is not doing too well it may perk up, maybe because uh, the heat or whatnot. But this is a trumpet vine. Uh, one of the mistakes that we made is that we, I didn't cut it back all the way in the spring. But I would like to get rid of it and plant another vine in here. Maybe an annual vine that I can get. I would love to get a bougainvillea. I would be willing to pay the price. To have that in here every summer so maybe next year and then here in this pot we just planted some uh, petunias and this uh, I have to get me a candle but it's a candle holder and um, I doctored it up repainted it I'll show you a picture of what it looked like before and then over behind here is our cactus um, little small cactus collection one of the problems we have a lot with these pots and cactuses is we um, often have clover and we can't spray so we have to pick these out by hand I just picked those out not long ago and this is a piece of uh, concrete art that I painted uh, actually, I repainted him this year because he had started losing some of his color and faded out. But he um, is a nice piece of garden art. I love garden art and love recreating and taking old garden art and repainting it and doing different things with it. Now, over here is um, my Helleborus. I don't know if it's because the heat, it was doing so well and it had some dead looking um, leaves on it so I cut them out this morning so hopefully it'll perk back up and these are just um, what do you call it donkey tails that we propagated from one plant and this pot here I um, made this pot and I'll try to share that video also if you want to see how I did it we got two more um, donkey tails here. And in this dome, which I picked up from the Dollar Tree, I have uh, my grandson's um, Venus flytrap. I decided to finally bring it outside to see how it's going to do. In this bottle, that's you have to uh, water it with distilled water. Now over here, I bought one boxwood that I'm going to try to make into a topiary. I've already cut it back one time, so we'll see. 
over in here it's a, um, a sedum I had it in my let me see had it in my tapestry but I pulled it out because it's getting choked out by the other sedums and um, that's another crazy cactus this thing stayed out all winter and didn't die so that was good and this is um, I think this is I don't have the tag I think this is a geranium or no or clodius I can't recall and up top here are just two Japanese maples one of them look a little weird at the top I may have to look at the leaves there and so here let me show you so this is a view of how it looks if you're standing here right before you go up the steps I really like this and so um in front of the fountain I have this variegated ivy that I have grown on this little of this and I cut it back I'm trying to make it thick so it'll fill in and look like a topiary and then here in this pot we put some vincas I think they're vincas or they might be um oh no they're New Guinea impatience I couldn't find the color I wanted so I had to go with the red and so on the steps as I showed you probably before are the hostas that we grow in the pots now as it gets hot I can tell you that they will start looking raggedy maybe a little ugly but I like the way they look in the spring so I keep doing it anyway and then back here is a dwarf Japanese maple and I see because of the heat I got blooms coming up already on this large hosta they bloom white and I want to divide that thing so bad I'm gonna see if I can do it in the fall okay so over here I have uh, my um, and I'm going to put it in my garden, cutting garden next year, but this in the fall. But this is a um, daylily, and this one's called Bella Lugosi. So I'll be back to show you. You see I got a bud coming out. You know, um, it's a pretty dark purple, and I just love the name of it. Because if you follow me, you know I love Halloween. <laughs> and this guy here, um, this is a sedum that I put in here comes back every year it's finished blooming already but the little flowers are yellow and I think I got this guy years ago from Kmart he's got a couple of chips so I may have to uh, clean him up and uh, repaint him in the fall so stay tuned for my fall projects and in these pots I have two uh, this one's smaller than the other my sister gave me thanks Wanda we put uh, red geraniums in there and I think they look great in the in this pot galvanized the colors look amazing and it's just a bright and then back here um well let's go here first in this pot I have a um, canis it blooms orange and the leaves are variegated so we'll see how this will do this year. If it doesn't do that well in the pot, I will put it in my cutting garden. And you can see my hydrangeas have started to bloom. And all the blossoms are so far away, I can't cut them for a bouquet. Because um, down there is pretty deep. I'm, I can't get down there. But anyway, they're doing pretty good. Uh some got hit we had an early frost and so they're not doing as well as they could have but um i'm pleased so far with the color anyway but i have plenty more hydrangeas and i'll be back to show you 
another garden bed. And see, here's the other geranium in this nice galvanated, galvanized um, planter. We put the pot directly in there instead of putting the dirt. I didn't want it to rust. And then here's just some cone flowers. And um, I'll be back to show you or do a video on my tapestry, as I call it, down here on the patio. But finally, I just wanted to share my um, these pots here. This is a uh, million bells, as I call it, uh, from Proven Winners. They're doing so, so pretty, so well. Just look at the colors on this. Pretty uh, red with the yellow. I just love it. And so we have that going on in four of these tall black cylinder pots. We've got one here, too. I think they're looking pretty good. And last, I want to just quickly show you. This is a planter that we had put some sedums in. Actually, I bought this in a small pot. And look how big everything got. And when I initially bought this, this, this burgundy color sedum was actually green. So I'm not sure if it'll turn green as the season goes on because you can kind of see some green going on on the inside of the leaves. But look at this. Isn't that pretty? Love that. Okay, guys. Thanks so much for stopping by and taking a look at what's happening on my patio. And I'll be back shortly with another video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe.